And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Thresh. This is going to be our first donation deck today. So we got Freljord, Shadow Isles, um, kind of have a, a unique deck list here. We got some, some different parts of our deck. We have our Blighted Caretaker, Cursed Keeper combo. We know that one's um, always a good one with, and also Cursed Keeper with Ravenous Butcher. But then we can also, so we can get kind of aggressive like that, but then we can also ramp. We got Faces of the Old Ones and Catalyst of Aeons ramping us towards um, our champions that are both five mana with Thresh and Trundle. Um, but then in particular, ramping us towards Feel the Rush. Um, that's going to be a big part of our deck. You know, we're going to have Ruination, be able to clear the board, Feel the Rush, get some 10-10s ten in play with our two. Um, plus, you know, with Thresh, we do want to level up Thresh. We want six units to die. And that's what, like, having Caretaker, Curse Keeper, Ravenous Butcher, like that kind of stuff, it makes it easier to level up Thresh. We can slow our opponents down if they're going wide with Avalanche and the Box and Withering Whale also. So a little bit of everything in here. Uh, we can have, like, a bigger Overwhelm Trundle, especially with Feel the Rush. You know, then then play the Ice Pillar, make it Overwhelm, attack for a bunch, Atrocity it, finish games off that way. This will be really interesting to kind of try out. This is just a, um, you know, a different kind of deck that we haven't really played before. So let's give it a try. Trundle Thresh will play our five games in Ranked. Okay, playing some Scouts. It's been a long time since I've played Scouts. Yeah, we haven't seen Scouts in a while. Um, I think I'm going to just keep all of this. I could see Mulliganing the Catalyst of Aeons. Um, th this is the one. I, I like the Avalanche for turn three. I like keeping Caretaker in case we draw, you know, like Caretaker, we need to draw something that enables it, but it's also good with Avalanche of like, you know, trying to keep these Scouts down. Um, I'll keep it all. So basically the, the reason why to keep Catalyst is if I, if I am playing Avalanche and Caretaker, I'm not going to have time for Catalyst, for Catalyst. So it won't be very good. But if they don't really, if they have a slower hand, right? Like maybe they play Grand Plaza here on turn three. And then, you know, like we don't want to do these things on turn three. It will be nice to have Catalyst no no instead. And I guess I just pass, see what they do. Yeah, Blinding Assault. Good avalanche. Love ya. See, it's it's possible I should be avalanche there, but I'm I'm kind of working towards this ruination, I think. So my goal is next turn cast ruination, or not you know not like this next turn, but the turn after. So that means I need six plus three extra mana, so I can only spend three mana this turn. So I'm going to be playing Tavern Keeper and passing and hoping that they go wide. That's kind of bad for me. Well, this worked out terribly, actually. So I guess I need to Avalanche on turn three. Avalanche just to kill the Valor. You have to spend four mana to kill the Valor. But yeah, this should just be lethal. Yeah, good, good hand. All they gotta do is attack. Yeah, I guess I need Avalanche just to kill Valor. Alright, more aggro with Burn. We will do better. Um, the good thing about Faces of the Old Ones, it's something for my Caretaker to kill. We aren't a very good Faces of the Old One decks, though. We only have five total cards in the entire deck um, that would actually turn this on. 
So I, I don't think that this card really fits in here. And really, we only have three cards in the deck for Ravenous Butcher with the three... With the three um, yeah, we, we kind of just... Yeah, I, I think that maybe, like, instead of facing the old ones, you know, something else that would be good to sacrifice to Butcher and Caretaker, I think that would kind of make more sense for our deck. So maybe, like, a Warden's Prey or a Hapless Aristocrat. I think that would fit this uh, slot better. I think that's something that... Um, I mean, I guess we do have Averroes and Sentry, but that's not really... You know, we, you want to block with Averroes and Sentry. So I think that's something I would kind of recommend um, for the person who made this deck is probably play either Warden's Prey or Hapless Aristocrat instead of Faces of the Old Ones. I think that would it'd give us a one-drop. I think that would help out quite a bit. Okay, so we, we top decked the Ruination. So that is um, an 8-plus cost card. So that's good. Don't know what we really do next turn besides just Avalanche, so I don't know if this O2 really helps besides just getting Avalanche. So maybe, maybe I just shouldn't have even played it. Yeah, I guess I should not have played it, should I? I should... I should pass here, and then next turn with a 6 mana play Avalanche, and then Faces. Our opponent is appropriately named Snorlax. Well, that's an interesting decision now. We could Withering Whale instead of Avalanche. No. I really like seeing that Poro Cannon. That's, that's really good for me. More one health units. That's very good for me. I would not say this looks like a win. If they just play a Jinx, we're in trouble. You know, like, if they unload their hand, play Jinx. Like, what? Because I'm going to have, like, a Trundle next turn. I don't... I would not say that this looks like a win yet. I have a lot of cards that don't do very much, right? Butcher, Caretaker, Feel the Rush. I have a lot of cards that... Aren't very good. And yeah, so we... Our deck definitely needs better Caretaker and Ravenous Butcher enablers for what we have. It's We are completely reliant on Curse Keeper. Okay. Trundle's good enough, though. They did not have their champions. All right, good. Curse Keeper. That's important for some of our other cards in our deck. Zoe Leeson. I mean, I guess Withering Will would kill a Zoe. Oh, let's mulligan it. And this is why we got to keep Curse Keeper. Play Catalyst. Next turn, we're looking at six mana, which is exactly what I want. All right, so Zoe's already made two free cards, two free Celestial cards. So we are we are in trouble. This one, my Avalanche, doing more than killing a one mana one one. But I know it's a really important one mana one one. It's what caught. I mean, it hurt the first game. Me waiting on Avalanche. 
Yeah, it does. They're not. They're not helping. They weren't helping out my avalanche either. Playing other cards into it. So they have a full hand. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Yes. We've seen one celestial card that costs three or less so far. They have another one in hand. Um, if I spent two less mana this turn, I could have had Fielder Rush this, this turn. I don't know. I think I gotta try it. Maybe I didn't have to try it. But maybe I did, because I felt like we were taking a ton of damage this turn. But... Maybe it wasn't lethal. Never mind. It's lethal. Right? And, nope. 12-13. Okay, so I should have saved Atrocity. Because Atrocity could, you know, sacrifice a 10 10 here to help kill them uh, the, the next turn. Yeah, I'm not killing Lee. So that's why I need I need atrocity yeah, like at for this next turn. But of course they could just have they could have deny hush. Any kind of Nexus healing, like guiding touch, star shaping. They had a good hand with a lot of champions. I like they had, what, all three Zoe's and turn five Lee Sin. 
Also overwhelmed for Lee Sin. Good hand. Here's in the stack. I haven't really seen any use for Ravenous Butcher yet. I can keep this. Yeah, we only have one atrocity, so don't couldn't have a top deck atrocity there. There's only one. If we don't play the early game package, is there any way to level up Thresh consistently? Well, the thing is, is we don't... We don't have enough cards for Ravenous Butcher, right? Like, the only card for Ravenous Butcher in the entire deck is Curse Keeper. And so there's three Ravenous Butchers, three Curse Keepers. But then we also have... We also want Curse Keeper for Blighted Caretaker. That's, like, the only card... Blighted Care... Like, so we have six things to sacrifice, and we only have one card in the... You know, we have six, six cards that need you to sacrifice, and we only have three cards in the deck to sacrifice. And so that's a big problem. You We should have more things to sacrifice than... Like, it should be the other way around, right? We should have, like, six things to sacrifice and then only three cards that need to sacrifice, right? Because we... So we have we have too many cards that are useless unless we have Curse Keeper, basically. Um, but as far as leveling up... Um, yeah, this is... As far as leveling up Thresh is concerned, I don't know if... I don't know if that's too big of a... I don't know if that needs to be too big of a consideration. Honestly, because for the most part, we're doing like the early sacrifice and stuff before Thresh anyway. So it's it's not like these cars really help us level up Thresh that much. They all die before Thresh anyway. But if we had more things, right, right, like basically we need we need more things for for that or or ramp to get to, yeah. I think we kind of have to pick a lane. Either more, more ramp or more more little things. Yeah. Right. So I think if basically if um yeah so yeah y'all are talking about like ravenous butcher there. I think maybe something that could help would be. Um, not play the 0-2 at 2 mana, play like Warden Spray instead, and then play like maybe one Ravenous Butcher, like maybe one or two, definitely not three, and then maybe play like a, a three mana card that also, um, wants us to, to sacrifice. Um, I kind of want to just Vengeance right now. The, the only problem with Vengeancing is I'm not going to Vengeance Lux. If I vengeance here. And Lux is scary. But Garen is scary too. King of trolls this Garen's not as scary. To so do they have Lux? Avalanche. Probably means sharp sight. Yeah, I think that would be good. Yeah, instead of faces of the old ones, play like Hapless or Scrap. We fight for those something like that that we want to... Um, some, you know, another another sacrifice enabler. That could work. This is a good this is a good faces of the old ones spot. If I go faces of the old ones, then I get to feel the rush the next turn. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, and do that. So that means I'm not... 
so I'm not gonna cast. Um, it's just basically my playing cursed keeper. I guess so. Just trying to think if I had room for that. All right, well, that was the worst case scenario for me because I, I wanted to level up Th Thresh with this Ice Pillar and then play Feel the Rush, um, you know, with a leveled up Thresh. But now we don't get to do that. That was that was the worst case scenario. Was that um, single combat? I guess I'm just casting Feel the Rush. I mean, good vengeance. But this just seems like this makes the most sense. Um, you know, before I was, if we had Trundle in play, I was going to go Ice Pillar first. If we still had the Trundle, and level up Trundle, and then get leveled up Trundles. But without without having the Trundle in play, if I play Ice Pillar first, they just attack and kill Ice Pillar. Maybe that's not the worst thing for me. But if I play Pillar first, I would just be playing it to die. That's two for Thresh. That's three for Thresh. That means a well-timed Blighted Caretaker could level up Thresh. I think I let them kill this Ice Pillar. I, I can Vengeance and keep the Ice Pillar alive, but we don't need both Ice Pillars. I definitely wanted to level up Thrash, but... See, because Ice Pillar dying would be four. Behold, crown God's strength. reason not to cast this. I should have done this the other way around. I should have had Thresh attack first. Because then I would have gotten a, a third. I could have got a 13 power on this Trundle. Because we would have put the Trundle into play. Like Thresh's ability would have happened to put the Trundle into play. And then this Trundle's ability. And so I would have be, beheld another Ice Pillar. My plan here, of course, is to Vengeance the Tiana Crown Guard. So this Trundle will overwhelm through. They may be like Harsh Winds. Like some stuff to stay alive. Single combat there to go to one. Maybe I just vengeance this thing then. I don't know. Stop. So vengeance here, and if they. So basically, if I Vengeance here, and if they have, like, Harsh Winds, then I'm definitely not killing them, and I'm only left with these three things. 
If I Vengeance over on the right, and they have Harsh Winds, I'm left with everything. Still. So, or, you know, like, I'm maybe not everything, but, yeah, like, I'd still have everything, so. Um. Stop having single combats. That's the third single combat. Alright, well, they stay alive at one, I guess. And that I could have had one extra power on this trundle. We should too. Dang. Well, this didn't work out. They're passing? When they could kill the Ice Pillar for free and they're passing? I think I, I, think I just gotta take the pass. I wanna play this Thresh, though. Yeah, their War Mother's Call has hit Tiana. She who wanders, she who wanders. Or maybe I should've taken the pass. But if we would draw another, you know, I wanted this in play so that if we if we do draw another Field of Rush, we get to play them both. If I were your Man, and then another Tiana? Will this not put anything else in? Oh, am I, am I out of Trundles? Wait, am I out of Trundles? We already had two Trundles die? Well, I guess we have had two Trundles die, haven't we? This is not good. Um. Get ready for a beat down. Yeah, this is not good. I don't a think I can kill them. <laughs> how does their how does their hand not get clogged with all these high cost units? Well, it's because because they just drew all three uh, single combats, right? They just draw all the single combats and draw the War Mother's Call and keep all of these in your deck so that the so you know don't draw the eight eights, draw single combats. Yeah, just keep keep drawing those cards. Nothing escapes my watch. Ready the torches. I, I need to be able to play this Ravenous Butcher, and I can't. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Illuminate the enemy. I feel like I had the cards to win. If they don't have either the first or the third single combat, we win that very easily. It's just those single combats were perfect. First and the third one. All right, this is an ideal hand. So turn three, we're going to Avalanche and then Faces of the Old Ones. And then turn four, play Thresh and ramp towards Field of Rush. 
their deck is one that can go wide. Like, they could have, like, Petty Officer and things like that. And go wide. For Avalanche. Of course, I'm going to challenge the powder keg. So we both have the same number of cards, we just have a 4-3 in play, but they have 3 extra mana. No, my O2, getting cooling striked. Whatever will I do? Um, no, probably not natural. I've, I've never put... I've never done that before. Alright, so they had the, the backup calling strike, unfortunately. You can't do this. I'm happy with that, even though they can, you know, pretty easily kill my escaped abomination now. I'm happy with that instead of just taking the two from that thing all the time. Because I want to just get to these cards. The for the men. We are at war. I will break them. Thanks, Vengeance. Turn too late. It was nice to have you last turn. But they may need what may be what we need to uh, kill a Leviathan. I didn't play like Thresh last turn. I was to see if they if they played more things. I was gonna ruin Asian, but they didn't play anything else. You know, they they also passed their turn. So it's possible they have like Noxian Guillotine, and if so, I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, good. Not Noxian Guillotine. Destination in sight. Dark in the skies. So I'm down to ten. Level up Thresh. Or, sorry, Trundle. Level up Trundle. <laughs> I'm, I'm casting this Vengeance this turn. It's just kind of, what am I casting this Vengeance on? I guess it's just Leviathan. Neither one is super scary on their own. Like, Leviathan's doing three damage to me a turn. You know, if they have Swain, they could have, like, a couple... Like, they with, with like, a Swain, they could have, like... A, a death sand and a warning shot, like two things like that, that like stun these two things and then like do a ton of damage to me though. So like, that's that's like the argument of killing the Swain is that like worst case, Leviathan without with with them playing nothing, Leviathan's more scary. But if they have the correct card, Swain can be scarier. So it's maybe it's possible. 
you know, maybe it's more likely that we lose to Swain than lose to Leviathan kind of thing, right? Uh, I don't know. We see them play Parlay already, so right, they could like they played Parlay earlier. They could have had like Death's Hand plus Parlay, right? If you say they don't have Warning Shot, just, you know, Warning Shot type card, so you know Parlay. So you know, Death's Hand plus Parlay would have put me down to one with the Swain, right there. And then and then all they would need is something else, like another Death's Hand or something. So I I could have just died by you know using the where if I. My Vengeance of the Swain, even if they have, like, that kind of stuff, they still, you know, I'd still have, like, my Ice Pillar. To, you know, like, it's, it'd be really hard for them to kill me, basically. Um. So, yeah, so while you said you said Leviathan's a far bigger threat in every game, like I said, um, it was highly unlikely that Leviathan killed me from that point, but it was certainly possible that Swain killed killed me, and that's still kind of the case. Um, question is, why is it better to play Caretaker over challenging the Swain with the pillar with the open attack? Basically, because um, it's not. I, I did the wrong play there. I was just kind of talking about like the whole Leviathan Swain thing, and I kind of forgot about them just like stunning the. Didn't really consider them stunning the Trundle with the Swain because I was just talking, and so I did the wrong play there. Come on. They should thank you. Yeah, we're always drawing Butcher and Faces in the late game, aren't we? <laughs> Catalyst. I just have too many cards that don't do anything. Okay, so for fixing the deck, we have some powerful stuff here, um, you know. But I think that I think we really need to kind of fix our our the low part of our deck. Um, yeah, so let's get rid of faces, get rid of butcher. Um, basically, I think we we kind of need to treat this. You know, like if you just think of like the the trundle, you know, like your your trundle trindamir type deck. I think that's really where we're going to be stronger, kind of treating it like that kind of deck. Um, I like Kindly Tavern Keeper a lot. We should have more of that. Um, but, you know, like Sentry. So basically, I think we need to not worry. Like, Thresh is going to level up. Like, we're going to have, like, these things that will level up Thresh, killing our opponent's stuff. Um, we could maybe play a Ravenous Butcher, but Ravenous Butcher was... Like, Ravenous Butcher was kind of the reason why we lost all of those games, right? Like, we, we just always would have multiple ravenous butchers in hand that we couldn't even play 
Um, and so, yeah, Ravenous Butcher was pretty weak. I think I would rather have, like, this kind of stuff. Let's get, like, some, like, Vile Feast or Unspeakable Horror, um, where, like, these, like, we, we can use these to kill Curse Keeper if we want, but we can use these as, like, removal and help out with, like, Avalanche in the box uh, for some other removal. And, like, Vile Feast can be more bodies also for Thresh if we want that. I think, like, these kind of cards would help a lot. Troll Chant would have been amazing to have in a lot of those combat situations, like, with our Thresh and Trundle. Um, so I think, I think I want, I want, like, these cards instead so um we're going to next do avalanche was good the box not as much let's let's go like three one there and then um for these for this split maybe uh probably need a grasp actually let's go let's go two troll chant to i guess vile yeah i think we want vile feast in this deck all right so two troll chant two vile feast and then also let's get a Grasp the Undying in here that can, you know, kill a Misfortune or, you know, like it, it can do a lot also. Like I, I like a, having access to a Grasp the Undying. It's a nice versatile spell. Maybe, yeah, maybe, so maybe just zero box and just playing Grasp instead of box. I think, I think Grasp is just a better box. Let's do that. Let's, let's get rid of the box. I'm never happy with that card. Last thing, so we have we have one extra one extra spot. We can play another Vile Feast, another Troll Chant, another Grasp. We can play another one of those three, or we can play. Um, yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. I was thinking we could have like I kind of want another way to put a Trundle into play, right? Yeah, see, so every Kindler. So I was thinking like maybe like a Harrowing or a Rekindler. Um, I like both of those. Yeah, like if if we have like multiple threshes die, if you harrowing back multiple threshes, they like all like they can create ice pillars for you. But I think we'd probably need more ways to like kill our own um, trundles for that. So maybe maybe a rekindler. Um, other option, you know, maybe maybe a ledros. That could be kind of cool with the atrocity, or maybe just two atrocities. Um, there's a, there's a lot of like options we could play here for this last like top end card. Could even play a harsh winds. Harsh winds can do a lot for slowing down the opponent and things like that. So a lot of a lot of ways you can go with this last s slot here with this rekindler. Um, I would not be mad at another troll chant or a vile feast. We, th those would be good. Playing a second grass, the undying would be good. You could play another atrocity. You could play a harsh winds. Um, those would be cool. Um, then you, you could also play something like a harrowing or a ledros. Um, those would be good too. So lots. Of, so so this one is this spot is a. You know, personal preference. I would; those would be the cards I would recommend, or a flash freeze. You know, that's another card you could choose. You could choose Black Spear. Um, yeah, you can play Black Spear. You could, you can play Unspeakable Horror if you want to split it up and go two and one. If you want an Unspeakable Horror, that's also acceptable. Or uh, as we talked about, Hapless Aristocrat or Warden's Prey. You could play one one drop if you want one of those, and even sapling toss if you want to play one sapling toss. That's a sapling toss is an underrated card as far as um, you know, being a one mana removal spell. That's an underrated card for sure, and that you know could help a thresh level up and stuff like that, and just help out all your other removal spells. That's not a bad one either. So I recommend one of those. So I think, but I think there was a lot of good stuff with our deck. I think that it just kind of needs it needs cleaning up around the edges. And I think maybe moving forward with something like this, I think like these kind of spells could help out a lot more than what we are getting from our O2 and uh, from the two mana zero two and from Ravenous Butcher that we couldn't cast and things like that. I think this could help help out quite a bit. So yeah, a flex slot there. All right, so there we go. So there's Trundle Thresh. Just need need a little need a little work, but that's okay. There's still like Feel the Rush is is incredibly good. Feel the Rush with Trundle, awesome. Feel the Rush with Thresh, also awesome. Thresh is both of these are good champions to play on turn five. Um, I like it. I like I like the deck. I think there's a lot of good stuff going on here. Uh, we just needed need a little cleanup between like the last like, you know, you know like probably the last like seven eight cards or whatever around the deck list i think those just kind of need to, to change but good stuff here all right but uh those those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well um try this updated list let me know how it goes for you um hopefully y'all enjoy it but that's all i got here for trundle thresh so thank you so much for watching 
and I'll see you for the next video.